let's do the pathway. So oxaloacetate is 4 carbon, acetyl CoA is 2 carbon. So we get 6 carbon citrate, enzyme is citrate synthase. Then we get isocitrate, 6 carbon isocitrate to 5 carbon alpha ketoglutarate from 5 to 4 carbon succinyl CoA. So carbon dioxide is lost in both of the steps. Both are dehydrogenases. So both steps are like link reaction, oxidative decarboxylation, very, very important. So we have two steps of oxidative decarboxylation, two steps of oxidative decarboxylation in TCA. Okay. So same like link reaction. Dehydrogenase is the enzyme, carbon dioxide removed, NADH formed. Now, succinyl CoA gets converted to succinate. So, this CoA is a high energy bond. When CoA is broken, then high ener the energy is released that can be stored, that can be converted and stored in the form of ATP or GTP. Whenever ATP, GTP formed at a step, this is substrate level phosphorylation step, substrate level phosphorylation and succinate is formed. So, there is only one substrate level phosphorylation step in TCA. So, this enzyme is succinate thiokinase. Okay, I'll tell you about this enzyme on next slide. Let's complete the cycle. Succinate to fumarate, succinate dehydrogenase, FADH2 is formed, then fumarase, malate is formed, then malate dehydrogenase and oxaloacetate is formed. Malate dehydrogenase also forms NADH. Mm -hmm.